For we glory in tribulations, for tribulations produce perseverance. Perseverance produces character, and character produces hope. That's in Romans 5, 3 to 4. I feel like I'm on a theme lately, and I don't think it's by accident. I do feel like it's the Holy Spirit. It's just everything that's going on in my life, really kind of tra the trajectory of my life. But lately, just trials, and not all trials of like persecution in the name of Jesus, but just having faith when times are tough when it feels like I can't even survive and then you know I feel like if I just got rid of every attachment to this world I'd be fine surviving but obviously we are in the confines of our own social construct which is largely of our own creation and as I'm trying to release strap after strap of worldly bondage little bills here and there things I don't need I'm still at a place where I'm you know, with inflation and everything else and the new car payments, it gets tough. But that's not the point of this. I did want to encourage anybody because I know a lot of people are struggling right now. But I had a dream last night. And I dare not share this in any type of profit, it, you know, as a prophet or prophecy or anything. But I do feel like it was God given me a lesson or at least showing me in some kind of way why I'm to just trust him. I was driving and I was in the very car that I'm driving right now. I was driving up this very steep hill and it was very ominous type weather. It was dark. It looked like a storm was coming, windy. And I'm going up this hill and all of a sudden my car just starts idling and I'm like foots down on the gas trying to accelerate but I hear the engine revving, but I'm not going anywhere. In fact, I start going backwards. So I got to hit the brake and I'm like, cars are starting to go by me, having to swerve around. And I'm like freaking out, stressing out. Like what is going on? I'm trying to get here. And I'm like in a hurry as you know, this is kind of just like normal life. I always feel like I got to get somewhere fast. And, and I wasn't going anywhere. The harder I pressed, the, the more I went backwards. And then all of a sudden it got even darker and I started to see cars. Now I'm on a highway, like a four lane highway going up. And all of a sudden cars start coming down the wrong way at me. But it wasn't just like casually. It was like they had just turned around and were running from something. It felt like a big storm, like a big tidal wave. I don't know. I never got to see that part of it. But all of a sudden I realized I was kind of going backwards not by my own free will, but because it felt like my car wasn't getting me where I was trying to go with it. And it didn't matter what I did. And, you know, eventually I turn around, then I kick my car into gear, and then it drives when I'm going the other way. I was like, is that the way I was supposed to be going? I don't know. I woke up with the same stress, the same heaviness. But then today, after just still putting in the, the work, the, like we'll call the grind, you know, the, the regular job that is just not making ends meet, but still putting in time with other gigs. And then finally, a source that I had thought I was going to get a long time ago, a source came through with the means to sustain me, at least to let me breathe for a few days. And it was just until I get these other things coming in, which are on the way. And, you know, I don't... I don't know for sure. I mean, I, I do feel like God was giving me a lesson there. You think you're getting somewhere on your own, but you can't go anywhere unless, you know, it's when I'm ready to have you go and I'm going to sustain you. You know, because for a while I was going up the hill and then I was just idling and I wasn't moving anywhere. Then the harder I pushed trying to go, then I started going backwards. And so I know there's a lesson there and I won't try to pontificate on it too much or interpret it too much because... There might be something there for everybody to gain, like, because we're all going through things where we're trying to do it all on our own and trying to push through and go up hills and fight battles and thinking we're doing the right thing by just go, go, go. And 
sometimes we just can't and it seems like the world's going to fall on top of us and it seems like all these cars are going to come crashing into us or whatever they're running from is going to happen and it, and it really is a testing of the faith but you know when you persevere through those trials it builds character and then through that character hope and it really just sunk in just thinking of that verse because every time regardless of how much i doubt or let my fears and anxiety take over when i'm feeling a bit overwhelmed god always comes through and then i always feel silly and then every time i'm like why did i have to worry and that does build hope when you persevere without losing the faith i mean sometimes it's so easy like, I really can see why people get to the point of taking their own life when they don't know Jesus. Because that, that's something I can never think of. Cause, because when you know the Lord, you know we're living for other people. And I, like, if I ever even got to that point, I would think about all the people that would have to deal with that. You know, and that's, but I see why people get there because sometimes you can feel so hopeless. Like, why are things not coming together? the way I thought they would and sometimes it's just not on our timeline it's on God's and he wants us to persevere through these trials and the character that is built through them is where we really have our hope solidified but it's not hope in ourselves because we know it wasn't us because it happened on his time and in the manner in which he was in control of all along and you know, I pray that anyone out there that is struggling, that is not making ends meet, that feels like, you know, they're seeking a relationship or a job or has wounded relationships, that you just trust in God and just give it to the Lord. All the things going on in the world are just trying to intensify and inflame every piece of division that is already there. So it's making it harder for people to just get by it's trying to steal hope from people but the hope is the very thing that is solidified when we persevere through these hard times whether it's surviving day to day or whether it's surviving the persecution and the hate you will receive for speaking up for Christ and for doing things in his name you can stand up for the world and be applauded you stand up for Christ you're gonna feel it but the hope that is there it does build hope in this world like in this case knowing that all right i know that jesus died for me and even if he doesn't come through in this world i know where my hope ultimately is but it doesn't mean the fears of this world can't sometimes feel overwhelming but again i digress just I'm not a big fan of the cliche, let go and let God, because it's very worldly and it's kind of like, you don't have to do anything. But the reality is there is times when you really don't have to do anything, when we're trying to do too much. And then we don't even see his hand on our lives because we don't know when it was him and when it was us. When you kind of just stop and you feel like you can't do anything and then all of a sudden you get a call or a breakthrough happens and say, like, oh, when I stopped trying, that's when he came in. So there might be bigger ramifications or implications of that dream. I certainly would not mind if the Lord came back any day now, but whether it's in my lifetime or not, I'm gonna live as if it could be any day and just continue to try to plant seeds and put my faith in him. And hey, please keep me accountable. I don't want to be a broken record on here, but I figured I'll try to be transparent and share when I am going through stuff because I know we're all going through stuff. And uh, that's part of being in the body of Christ. Anyway, that's about it. Traffic's moving good here. No, uh, my car's moving fine. It's not stalling out. I'm not going up any steep hills. So we're all good. All right, God bless you guys. We'll see you tomorrow.